And, but you where you grew up in like a like that town that you're talking about like you kind of grew up kind of woodsy right Didn't yeah you? yeah fully uh yeah middle of uh nowhere Foster Gloucester is the name of it Foster Gloucester so yeah. funny uh, then it rhymes <laughs> yeah and I mean it's funny because like you know you're you are like 30 minutes from like you know like you're probably 35 minutes from Providence or something yeah. like that, but because Rhode Island's so small, I think everything's to scale. So right, like right, a 20 right. minute drive in Rhode Island is it's an like hour and a half away. Exactly. Yeah, like yeah, mentally. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah, it was just kind of like nothing doing there. Like they just combined two towns to make enough kids for a school. Every time it snowed, we had no school because there was like miles between everybody who lived there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real just, homestead shit. Was it like you fucking you didn't really leave your like yeah, you were friends with whoever you could bicycle to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. that was kind of just the crew. Damn. Like, and yeah, that. What was, kind of house we? T- was it like, do you have property? Do you have like a lot of land and shit? It was like uh, my dad had like a one might call it a shack on yeah. a. <laughs> <laughs> On a, oh wait, let's see how he describes this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a pond, uh, shack but, on a pond. But the pond had so much seaweed. We swam in it anyway, but it was oh. seaweed for the whole. Like it was, yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. was pretty. Just, we had two giant snapping turtles algae. in there that we would <laughs> follow on canoes. We had a yeah. we had a canoe with a with a milk crate in it as a seat, and Hell we would just yeah, kind of fish out. Everyone there. in the shack. Uh, was that the only building on the property? <laughs> yeah, there was also another. Um, there was a smaller shack on a hill nearby, and that's that where they guy, went to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, yeah, kind of. That guy, uh, he he lived there, and then he got shot in Florida, and then no one came for his house. <laughs> Like, truly, it just was there, and then wow. we would just go drink in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was such a you shitty piece of property yeah, yeah, yeah. that even the government was like, yeah, no, I don't Yeah, whatever. Do you that. guys can have it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. Um, but, yeah, my dad, he kept he would, like, put additions on the house. So, by now, it's like, oh, okay, okay. But also, uh, he kept running out of money in the middle of the addition. That's so awesome. we were like kind of on a construction site. Like yeah, my friend yeah, Colin yeah. Burns came over one time and fell through the floor into the basement. <laughs> Damn, dude, it's that's like real an trash. Sign where there should be like a beware of dog sign. <laughs> like yeah, 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 hard yeah, hat yeah. classes. All right. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That yeah. is real. That's real. That's a specific kind of white trash Dude, that yeah. I didn't even know existed. And there's no planning. <laughs> like, my little brother Neil fell down the stairs into the basement. Because when you open, like, this creaky door, it would just, like, be a drop to, like, the 10th stair. Because you'd have to go around to get down. Oh. So he fell and, like, hit his head, like, eight stairs down. <laughs> <laughs> Once he was like three years old, went to the hospital and like he ended up okay. And then there was, he did it again like a year later because yeah. they didn't fix it. <laughs> it's like you would think that once the kid almost died, you would like yeah, get a yeah, banister. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, all right, all right, let's fix this. Yeah, yeah. just or make like, it a slide. I'm talking like recycling bins full of laundry, just like, yeah. Just I knew guys like that in Charlotte who would get like arrested at the same spot they got arrested at like years before. Mm-hmm. Like at the same it gas just station. feels yeah, like, right. How did this not evolve? <laughs> it even just feels bit? right, man. <laughs> yeah, was it you, was it was your dad a single dad? Or your, was your mom around? Or uh, well, my mom. Yeah, so th- that was his spot. After they split up when I was three, okay. and then I I went and lived with him when I was like eight. Gotcha. And so I had it was my stepmom, and then uh, she, they had two more kids. I see. And I then see. Uh, yeah, me and wow. my brother. So it was like pretty uh, clo- like close, like yeah, quarters. close quarters. Like my dad would get pissed if anyone opened the fridge at night because the the light from the door <laughs> would fucking wake him up. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> just sleep with your door closed. Like what the fuck? And he's like, I don't like it when my door is closed. So it was just like a reason for him to get pissed. Damn, at, bro. At something, yeah, it was just complete. Avoid so, everything was avoidable. Yeah, like, yeah that's yeah. how I feel about it. It's like this is a choice at some yeah. point. But they the narrative of poverty is just so like. You know, deeply ingrained that, but it's like you're choosing to live like this. Yeah, like, there's yeah, people yeah. with you like close your door. Yeah, you could. Ju- there's so many things you could yeah, do. You could, yeah. you know, put a banister up. You could make the hole not in the middle of the floor. So or you could you, not be bothered by a light from the refrigerator. Yeah, that's a choice as well. So your your dad being a, such a bad poor guy makes you uh, pull yourself up from your bootstraps. Uh, yeah, guy. quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah at this point, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, because it, it was just such a. Because he, my dad's the type of dude who like, like my mom would tell me when they were together, they'd go on like a ski trip for like the weekend with like another couple, and my yeah. dad would just like bully the guy until they fist fought, <laughs> and then they would still be in there for like two days. <laughs> yeah, and like the guy's just got a black eye, and my dad's like, I am the alpha of this. Ski <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting though, because it's like, all right, so your mom, like, what are your 
mom do to fucking lose custody to a ramshack? They're like, moms always get it. And then they're like, dude, lives with his dad in a fucking ramshackle fucking shanty town next to some dead guy from Florida on a, on a shitty pond. Like, how did he get custody? Well, no, because he, so she also, A, she wanted to be a single lady and like do oh, that. Oh, yeah, dude. And it's mom's the, like, hey, man, I'm how about a, a childhood of trauma 100%. so I can get dick down for a decade? <laughs> that's what that's 100 percent true. Kids are harsh then, <laughs> you are fucking the vibe up, dude. <laughs> yeah. Your honor, my son is uh, co under the cock block provision. I would like to transfer uh custody then, to my dickhead ex-husband. But then there was other like I wanted to live with my dad because ever since I was like four or five years old, he's like he would just sit me down and be like your mother is fucking me in court so yeah. heavily right now. And I don't even think... Dude, he's like... Since you were four? Yeah. I was literally like, I'm spelling out alphabets, and yeah, he's just yeah, like, yeah. she's fucking me. She yeah. knows the court. She knows what she's doing. And he's like, I'm not even going to tell you the whole story when until you're ready. You know, like... He was, <laughs> <laughs> so more. <laughs> yeah, and it's like I don't even think he was intentionally being manipulative. I think he literally just had no one else to talk yes, to about yes, this crazy yes. bitch that was yes. ruining his yes, life. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, uh, yeah, with this therapy. <laughs> and just fully like, yeah. At one point, he's like, I, I, you gotta ask her to get this child support lowered. I'm gonna have to sell the dogs. I don't think I can. sell the dogs. <laughs> right, that yeah. is your job. For to go talk to your mom. <laughs> he's gonna, yeah, his bro, neighbor's gonna lay butcher off it. Of, lay yeah, off yeah, of yeah. Mom. He's like, yeah, I can't afford to feed the dogs. I'm gonna have to get rid of the dogs if we're gonna. And I'm like, I love my dogs. I yeah, love my yeah, dog, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Just complete like and, using you, you know, as the intermediary is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And my, you know, my stepmom is an Italian woman with a very hot temper, so mm. she would be like, motherfucker, yeah. whatever, yeah. you know. Just so basically, just wild. taking you on was like, so you would have to pay child support. I think yeah, part of that, and then also just also just to win. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean, yeah, like yeah, against yeah. her, being yeah. like he yeah. likes me more, bitch. Yeah, 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 you, feel, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like both the, both of those things. Damn. It was very much yeah. They like I would just get dropped off, and he'd literally like throw rocks at her car. She <laughs> drove away. <laughs> like, Get the fuck out! <laughs> and I was just here for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, just, I think you're big enough. Throw a rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, That's this is how boy. we treat women that displease us, Ryan. <laughs> Remember this. He would never say <laughs>